What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and welcome to my top 10 tweaks part 15 video. So this is part 15, I really never expected to make it so far, but there's been a lot of recent tweaks. Surprisingly, even though there's no current jailbreak for 8.1.3, there have been a lot of new tweaks. And of course, I'm never leaving these kind of videos behind. I wanna keep you guys updated on all of the new tweaks all the time. So this is a collection of the latest tweaks. And before I get into any of that guys, I just wanna say thank you. Today I reached 500,000 subscribers and without you guys, I would be in a very different place in life right now. I mean. When I lost my channel a little bit ago, last August, I believe, a lot of people went out of their way, you know, to encourage me, to help me, even my personal friends. So everybody that helped me get here right now, I want to personally thank you because 500,000 is huge for me, guys. Thanks so much for getting me here. Anyways, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you a collection of 10 brand new tweaks. These are, of course, compatible with 8.1.2 as well as iOS 8.2 if you manage to jailbreak on it. Now, if you want to get the full tweak list, and yes, you will need a custom source for one of these tweaks, as well as the wallpaper I'm using and a few bonus tweaks, you can do so here. So just click on that link and it will take you to the article. Anyways, let me go ahead and introduce you to this brand new collection of tweaks. Now, here's Adam. It was released a few weeks ago. I could have included it in one of my older videos but it just wasn't working. It was appearing on the very top left of my device. So here it is perfectly working. And what it is, is it's very similar to Jelly Lock. It introduces little app shortcuts to your lock screen, which you can then use this little grabber to hover over. You know, as you can see, they'll magnify a little bit and you can open up one of these applications immediately after entering your passcode if you have one. So you have to have six at all times and you can set, of course, custom ones, which you do want. Let me go ahead and show you the settings. So these are the settings. Of course, you can enable it and you can set default unlock gesture. So you can go ahead and slide even though, you know, you do have these grabbers right here, which looks just like this. So really cool that you can set that, you know, the standard one. Let's go ahead and select one. So the one that is currently selected will have a little check mark next to it, as you can see right there, you can go ahead and uncheck that and select any other one you want. Let's say you want to check the weather real quick and you don't need to respring. It just sets automatically. And this is a feature I do recommend circular icons. It actually matches very well with it. So if you enable that and then we go back to it, as you can see, everything is now circular, which looks really cool. So this did experience some glitches in the beginning, but now a very well-made tweak. It is paid though. Barry CA is not paid. So I would recommend the jelly lock over this, but you know, it is a very nice tweak. Really awesome. Now, if you guys are feeling a bit nostalgic and you want something else for your lock screen, here's classic lock screen. It brings back that iOS 6 look to iOS 8, including the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And I got to say, wow, this really brings back a lot of memories. Considered by some the best iOS ever made, iOS 6, you know, it, it has a lot of memories with me. So this guy certainly hits home with the nostalgia. Now, a couple bugs so far. It's not perfectly made on the iPhone 6. It works well. You know, the animations work. It's just... When you actually go to your lock, it's a little bit odd shaped. It's not fit to the screen for the six, as well as the camera. If I just slide it up, it just disappears. I mean, it doesn't do anything on my six and I hope the developer can get that figured out. Otherwise, it's a really cool tweak. It does work with your passcode. Uh, very, very similar to the one from iOS 6. And you do have a lot of options in here. Basically, bring back that iOS 6 look of the lock screen back to iOS 8. And hopefully there will be an update to fix a couple little bugs. Otherwise, it is a really well-made tweak. Now, here's a morning app. So this is an app that isn't going to be for everybody. However, it is a pretty genius idea. This actually came from Reddit. Someone had a request for it where if you unlock your device first thing in the morning, it'll take you straight to an application of your choice. Say you like to check the stocks or the news. As soon as you open your device, after you've woken up, it'll take you right into the stock application or a certain news application. And this is how it works. So you enable it, you select the application you'd like it to open. I'm going to go ahead and say stocks. If you're uh, to the stock market, you can go ahead and select on that and the time. So this is in military units. You do have to enter it. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, enter 600 right here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, when I do wake up, it'll go ahead and open up inside of the stock application. And this only works for the first slide to unlock. So if you lock it after then, open it up again, it's gonna be you know just like ordinary. But you guys get the idea. Basically, you wake up, you set an application that you'd like to be taken to the very first time you slide to unlock, and this does it for you. After your phone returns to normal operation. Now here's Snappy. So Snappy is a supercharger for Snapchat. I actually prefer it to Phantom. It works in the latest version of Snapchat. 
Now, before I get into it, something I found funny, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be, but you're supposed to order a license. For me, it worked without ordering one. I didn't even buy anything. I just went in and it started working. So you get this little icon right here. When you tap on it, you can go ahead and open up your photos and send videos, photos, even albums to any one of your choice, put it on your story. So, you know, that's nothing new. Phantom can do that. However, there's a couple nice touches to this. For one, you can set that any Snapchat that you ever get never goes away until it actually, you know, gets booted out of the way with all the other Snapchats. You can keep opening it up and you can set it to privacy. So the other person won't know if you opened it or not. You can screenshot with privacy, all that great stuff. So it adds a lot of functionality to Snapchat. So it's a very simple tweak and it does work in the latest version of Snapchat. Basically enable a private mode, save snaps or keep them from expiring over here as well as upload and send photos or videos to other people. So here's Instagram plus plus also from the creator of Facebook plus plus it's a supercharger for Instagram. So the only tweak I've known before this for Instagram was Savegram, which pretty much let you save Instagram photos. Now this is actually better in many other ways. For one, you do have the option to save photos. You can actually copy photos to the clipboard as well. You can enable this really cool view. It's like a full screen mode right here and you can actually set the entire application to go into full screen mode. So it definitely enhances the Instagram experience. Now inside of the settings, you can go into Instagram plus plus settings and in here you get a whole host of options. You can hide the comments in the feed. You can enable that full screen feature I was talking about right here. So there's definitely a lot of information here. You can hide that download button. Um, basically supercharge your Instagram application, save photos directly to your camera roll, make the pictures larger, make it look more modern. Really cool. From the people that created DATH messages, which would allow you to color your messages application, here's the DATH banners. And I really like this one. So what it does is it allows you to color your notifications to match the application where they're coming from. So for one, here's mail, blue. For tips, yellow, abstract blue. It's really cool. It's like it's a feature that's supposed to be an iOS 8. Very color and very nice. Now, when you get a notification, it will appear in the actual color of the application that it came from. I really like this because it's a well thought out tweak. It's so simple, yet it fits in iOS 8 very well. Now, here's return. This is a brand new tweak, and it's very similar in function to OXO 3. However, it's missing a lot of the key features, but still a very nice little tweak. So the first thing you'll notice is that I have this recent app icon view right here, which will take me directly into applications I was recently in. You can't slide through them, but it's a very nice little descriptive view. As you can see right there, the actual corners are rounded on the control center. I think that makes for a really clean look and you know, it's very functional. So you can open up an application where I was just in just like that. And there are a few cool settings. Now, of course you can enable it and you can choose to show the icon labels. And there's an option for either a card view, which you're seeing right now, or the actual applications. Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, the icons are there. You can actually have a icon view or a page view. Now here's another camera tweak. I absolutely love camera tweaks. Whatever we can use to enhance the camera experience, I will take. So as you can see, I have this little yellow dot right here and it's called photo torch. Now it allows you to set the intensity of the torch when either taking pictures or recording video and a little hard to press, so small. But anyways, you get this little slider right here. So while I'm recording video, it automatically enables it if you go ahead and slide. So set an intensity that you know is appropriate for the condition you're in go ahead and record and it stays at that level. Now here's switcher FX. If you guys have ever used a tweak like BioProtect or Lockdown, it actually blurs the app switcher, all the cards, it blurs them. And this tweak basically only blurs them. So if you're around people a lot and you have things you wanna hide inside of your applications, you don't want people seeing it while you're switching through your apps, I don't know, whatever the situation might be, this is the perfect tweak because it will blur all the cards and it'll add a level of security to your applications from prying eyes. So in here, you can adjust the blur intensity. I recommend keeping it in this area right here. Up here, it's just a little bit too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that looks. So now if I open up the app switcher, we have definitely a more intense blur. So definitely check this tweak out. It adds an extra layer of security to the app switcher pane. And the very last tweak is called status bar weather A. I definitely recommend that you guys download this and try it out. It's one of my favorites now. So it's such a clean, neat little tweak. It just adds a weather icon and a degree icon to your status bar. It can be seen either from the lock screen or just from your home screen. Of course, any application as well. Really neat weather view. So there are a few settings. You can enable it, disable it, of course, and you can choose the interval at which it refreshes. You can choose if you wanna see the temperature unit right there. If I remove that, it will no longer show that right there. You can hide the weather 
your icon but kind of defeats the purpose because that's the best part about it and there it is so you can actually move it instead of the carrier logo definitely one of my favorite tweaks it's so simple yet so effective and guys there you go that's my next top 10 tweaks video i gotta say there is so much happening this week i just you know it was really hard for me to find the time to make this video amongst all the other videos i do have to make but i have promised you that i will always update you on the latest tweaks and i'm trying to fulfill that promise so definitely stay tuned for the next episode 16 i will keep you guys updated now this video like i did say there is so much i'm gonna post about there's a lot of information on the new jailbreak on the new update uh 8.2 a lot of new phones coming out man i have so many to show you guys so anyways definitely stay tuned for all those videos subscribe if you haven't already and i will keep you guys updated on any new tweaks i hope you enjoyed this latest collection have a great day peace